Hey, what's up everyone? This is Milos and this is a second video related to voucher configuration tool that is available in each my Presta modules for PrestaShop. So, as you know, this feature contains three sections where you can define the settings of the voucher code. In this video, I will describe the first section called General Settings. General Settings allows you to define some informations about voucher code that model will generate. You've got here name option. The name will appear in your cut summary when someone will use the voucher code. It will also appear on invoice and in back office. Second option called descriptions is for your eyes only and here you can write some informations about this voucher code so your employees will be able to distinct the voucher code on the list and read some information about for what purposes this voucher code was generated. Third option, voucher length, allows you to define the number of charts that the model will use to generate the voucher code. If you will enter here for example 5, Module will generate the voucher code that will be built with 5 chars. If you will enter here for example 10, module will generate the voucher code with 10 chars. Another option called enable suffix and enable prefix allows you to define the some string that will be added before the voucher code or after the voucher code. You can of course define the suffix and prefix in other languages. Another option called highlight allows you to turn on visibility of voucher code inside the card even if customer not use this voucher code. Another option called partial use if enabled allows to generate new voucher code if voucher value will be bigger than the card total. Model will generate another voucher code with the value equal to the amount that was not used from the voucher code. Another option, priority, allows to define the priority value for this voucher code. Voucher codes are applied to card by priority. This means that card rule with priority, for example 1, will be processed before card rule with priority 2 or higher. And the last option active allows to define if we want to generate active voucher code or if our voucher code will be disabled. And at the end of this part of guide I strongly suggest to fill out each available field in general settings of voucher code. Please watch the second video where I will explain the conditions section of voucher code.